Hello everyone and welcome to another Autodesk Revit tutorial and in today's Revit tutorial I'll be showing you how to draw in columns in a circular pattern like this with the help of, of course, our trusty friend, the circular grid line. So let's get started. So let's find an empty part of the drawing and let me just delete this annoying column in the middle over here, in the middle of nowhere. And let's draw in a circular grid line by using the grid tool. By now, if you haven't used it that often, you can watch my previous tutorials on grid lines. Or I'll be making another one, so stay tuned. So let's use the start and radius arc over here. And let's start our circular grid line at grid C1 intersection here and end it at grid D1 intersection. And the radius for my circle would be 10 meters over here. Hit escape twice. And you can select this circular grid line and extend it out slightly like so. And let's place a column now. Let me choose the height option here so that the column will go up instead of go down. And constrain it to the first level. And let's choose a 600 by 750 millimeter column. I'll place one right here at the intersection between my circular grid line and my horizontal and vertical grid lines. So now let's draw out our columns in a circle. So let's go to the modify tab and in the modify subsection you'll find a array button over here which is similar to the AutoCAD function array. So just for your information there, select on the column and hit enter. And you'll get this warning over here. So just calm down and click on OK. So right now we are using the linear array tool over here. We want to use the radial array tool. And I'd like my columns to be individual columns, so I will uncheck on this group and associate. And I'd like to have five columns along my circular grid line over here. And choose the last option here, move to last. And let's select the center of rotation, which is the middle of this circle over here. If I were to start at this column over here that I've just placed and end over here, Revit would have drawn out the group of circular columns over here instead of over here. So that's clearly wrong. So I'll just quickly delete these columns. And let's try it again. So click on the array tool over here, select the column, press enter again, OK again, and select the center of rotation. So now if I start from this point here, the intersection between C and 1, and go clockwise instead, what happens is that the columns will be placed along this circular grid line 7. But whoops, uh, looks like I forgot to put in 5 columns instead. Well, never mind. So now moving on, I'll be showing you how to draw in these types of uh, arc length dimensions. So proceed to the annotate tab and select the arc length tool over here. The first step would be to select the circular grid 7 and scroll in to see your column here. You'll see a faint outline of the middle of your column over here. Select it and zoom in to another column like so and select the middle outline of this column here. And there you go. That's how you use the arc length dimension tool to dimension columns that are in a circular grid line, like so. And that's it for today's Revit tutorial today, folks. If you found this Revit tutorial useful, hit that like button, subscribe for more content as it helps not only yourself, but others that are looking for content like this. And as always, stay safe, keep learning, and goodbye.